I just got this from the store. I'm so excited. What to do next? What to do next? Aha. Um, uh -huh. Download the DJI Fly app. Let's get my phone. Okay. Go to App Store. DJI Fly. Okay, there we go. Go to Play Store. DJI Fly. Eh? Where is DJI Fly? DJI Go for Rainbow, DJI Store, DJI Pilot, Litchi, UAV. Why I can't download? Hi, welcome back to CZR channel. If you just bought or before you plan to buy either the DJI Mavic Mini, Mini 2, Mavic Air 2 or any future DJI drones that use the DJI Fly app. You may want to check your current mobile device to see if it supports and run the DJI Fly app. Or if you plan to get a dedicated mobile device to operate these drones. Make sure you know what you're looking for so you don't run into compatible issue with the app. This video will be a guide for choosing the mobile device system requirement in order to operate the DJI Fly app. Compatible device. The list of compatible mobile devices is available from the official DJI website. I put the link in the description below for easy redirecting. Of course, it would be best to just follow the list but just in case the mobile device you are using currently or you plan to purchase a dedicated device was not listed here. You might need to do a little bit more extra work to check if the device is compatible. Storage space. With Apple iOS, a fresh DJI Fly app with only the system file consume about 337 megabytes. With Android, my Huawei P10 that I had used to operate the Mavic Mini for more than a year. The system file occupying my phone storage is only about 400 megabytes. Mine is considered very low because I hardly download the full resolution photo or video into my phone as I always transfer the file into my computer and work from there. And my cache video recording was disabled in the early days. Over time, the consumption of storage space will increase because of the flight lock, image thumbnail, video cache file, downloading and storing the original full resolution video and photo and so on. So you might want to take note on that, especially if you are editing with your mobile device. Operating system, 64 bit only. Now, this one is really important. The DJI Fly app only run on a mobile device with a 64-bit processor and a 64-bit operating system. The processor is a hardware embedded inside the mobile device while the operating system is sort of like a software that runs on the processor. As of now, there are some Android device with a 64-bit processor but runs on a 32-bit operating system and that will not work with the DJI Fly app. For Apple iOS, any device that has an A7 processor and above should be running the 64-bit operating system. Previously, for Android user, if the DJI Fly app is available in the Google Play Store, chances are that the device is already running a 64-bit operating system and should be supported. But early this year, DJI Fly app has been removed from Google Play Store. So this option is no longer usable. You can still download the installation package directly from DJI website and try to install it. If it turns out successful, you are good to go. If not, I hope you did not just pay for a brand new device this morning and bring it back home to only find out that it does not support the DJI Fly app with no refund or exchangeable policy. So. How do we check that? The best and easy way to check this information is by using a third-party app downloaded in the device. In this example, I'm using AIDA64 with my Android Huawei P10. This app is available in the Apple App Store as well or any other similar app like Antutu, Benchmark, CPU, Z and so on. 
Now, go into CPU and look for this instruction set. If you see 64-bit ARM v 8 dash A only, or anything that carry the 64-bit wording in the future, it means that the device is running a 64-bit architecture and operating system. If you see 64-bit ARM v 8 dash A 32-bit mod, it means your device has a 64-bit processor, but unfortunately, it is running a 32-bit operating system. Do comment below if you know any brand and model device that runs on a 64-bit processor with a 32-bit operating system, or maybe model that somehow could not work even both the processor and the operating system are 64-bit, which are unlikely, but maybe I'm wrong. So others can take note and to avoid buying it for disappointment. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.